All right. This is Rockin' with Jam Man. This was Hammerhead. So what's up, man? How you doing? Doing good. Uh, not much. How about you? Good. You know, just same old, same old, same old. Just yeah. Good. Congratulations on your new single, Foundation. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That song rocks, man. I bet it would be fun in a mosh pit. Definitely. That had definitely would be fun in a mosh pit. Oh, yeah. When whenever we can start playing live again. Yeah, definitely. What was it like making the video? It had to be crazy fun. Uh, yeah, we did it in a factory. Um, it was we basically just did playback on big speakers and like lip sync to it. That's kind of how you I guess how you do them. It was it was like uh, kind of it. We, we did it all in one day. Uh, really easy it was just kind of a way to get the song out there you know oh all right so this is off your album grand currents yes yeah um which we re-released this year about a month ago um the song foundation is actually about a little over a year old we released it like in january of 2020 but uh this is just new like the music video is new it's just to try to get it out to more people before we release another album how cool is it to have your own album? Uh, pretty awesome. Pretty yeah. awesome. Uh, it was fun to make. You guys are really young. What inspired you to form a metal band? Um, well, we sort of wanted to emulate our uncles who uh, they play. They don't play metal. They play sort of blues, bluegrass type music. But uh, they each play different instruments like uh, guitar, bass, drums, you know. And we, want to, and we wanted to kind of like fit in with them when we were younger. So we all picked up instruments and then took a liking to metal after our dad showed us Metallica. So that's it kind of went from there. It has to be hard sometimes that you are in a band with your brothers, especially at a young age when brothers are known to fight. They're, how do you, is it really bad sometimes? Does it get a little heated? Uh, it does a lot, but uh you know we love each other it gets it's it's all fine after like an hour <laughs> yeah we're just gonna i'm gonna punch you in the face but just give us one hour that's my yeah. good brother exactly exactly yeah so does the older brother take control and scream i'm the oldest i'm the boss does he ever do that uh well i am the oldest brother oh, uh, sorry. so yeah well i you know i used to do that but not anymore it's it does it's not productive anymore. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. Oh yeah, well it actually did happen a lot of times, so. Oh, so no, oh, god, that's <laughs> not. Oh, I can't I can't even imagine that. <laughs> so you guys are the metal version of the Jonas Brothers, correct? Uh, if you want to call it that, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I guess I could call you that. Jonas Brothers metal version. <laughs> are you guys taking uh, notes from other famous bands like uh, oasis the beach boys and the black Crows? uh i love the beach boys um i would say yeah uh, a lot of the we we take influence from a ton of bands um that's we that's kind of like the what we want to become is a band that's a, an amalgamation of our, of our influences for sure yeah Definitely. In case you didn't know, those brothers all fought with each other and broke up at one point. Yeah, no, I, 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 don't know. One of those I didn't even, yeah, I know you're, you're right. I didn't even realize that somebody mentioned Oasis about, or about that, about Oasis. I don't actually listen to much Oasis or Black Crows, but yeah, um, we don't plan on breaking up because of a uh, fighting or anything like that. But um, yeah, we, we take influence to our music, I guess. Yeah, you really got to, because that really does happen, because, well, the, you guys are nice to each other, and, you know, you guys are brothers, but brothers, they, it's kind of like, brothers is like a guy that you can punch, but then say sorry. Exactly. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, if you get what I mean, I'm, I'm just, if you get Yeah, no, I do. So how do you uh, balance out being a kid and being a rock star? Um... Well, you, I, I don't know. I just kind of, I, I just live my life. I just go to work and do school and stuff like that. You know, uh, especially right now we're not planning any shows. So it's kind of just 
Zoom stuff and writing the new album. Are you guys still in school? Yeah, we are. Uh, whatever, like whatever school is now, it's kind of just on online. But you know, we are. What I mean, like in person. What I mean, like in person. I'm doing virtual right now. Oh, you're yeah, you're doing vir- I, I am in college, so it's it's like mostly virtual for me. But um, my brothers who are in high school and grade school, that it's like half and half. Mostly, mostly in person, I think. Do you tell all your cra- uh, classmates you guys are in the famous band? Uh, no, not really. Uh, they, good. Yeah, it's get, kind of, I don't know. Yeah, they'll find out if they find out. Yeah. Um, what is the, what is it like being so young and getting all this attention and getting big websites and getting interviewed by famous people like me? Um, uh, it's pretty fun. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun to have, like, uh, have other people who like the same music as you, uh, like talk all the time from across the country and stuff like that. It's awesome. Yeah, it has to be talking to different people through countries. I, it was really fun for me when I started having people like from India or something like that. It gets yeah, fun. For sure. So what do you guys do for fun? Uh, me personally, I do... I, I play intramural sports, like I, I basketball, softball, um, you know, football uh, with my family, my friends. Um, what else? Uh, I work out a lot. Eli works out a lot. We go to the gym, um, school, work, hang out with friends, you know, the normal stuff. You guys into video games? What, uh, what system do you play? Uh, I am not, I, I don't know how to play any video games personally, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but uh, Eli and Abe are both into 2K and uh, I want to, ooh, this is going to make, make me sound stupid. I don't, maybe Fortnite. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I play, well, Call of Duty. Do they know, even know what that is? They, yeah, no, they do play Call of Duty a little bit, but not that much. They'd probably get mad at me if I said that. Not that much though. Yeah. So how are you guys dealing with the pandemic? Um, what do you mean, like us having to stay home and stuff? Yeah, how are you dealing with that, and also being a rock, well, like you know, rock star, not doing shows, stuff like that. How do you deal with it? Uh, well, we it gives us more time to jam alone and write, you know. So it's it's not the worst thing in the world right now, but it is annoying that we can't play shows. I want to get back to doing that as soon as possible. I would ask, what is it like releasing an album during the pandemic? But this is all you know, having doing nothing to base on it, which is crazy. What do you think about it? Uh, sorry, what do I think about like releasing an album during the pandemic? Yeah, well, yeah, what do you think about it? Yeah. Um, well, you know, it's, it's different because you can't promote it like touring or playing shows or stuff like that. But it's people still get to listen to it, you know, with the internet and everything it's kind of it gets out to the same amount of people i just think it that albums released during the pandemic generally speaking have gone like you release them and then you don't get to promote it so it kind of dies out quicker the hype dies quicker so uh hopefully the next album release we do will be like accompanied by a tour and all that good stuff so this is the only album we have to do this in hopefully so have you guys toured yet no, no, not yet. It it was on the it was on the docket until COVID happened. We've we played shows like here and there and done little runs like locally, but no real tours. Mm-hmm. How does that work? Are you allowed to play clubs even though? Or or you're probably not allowed in them because probably some of you guys are too young to play sports. Yeah, we we are if like we just have to be out by a certain time. You know, they put X's on your hands and everything and then you have to be out of the club by like after you play your set are you are you are your parents your managers uh no i it, it was probably like that um for the first like five years but um they they are very supportive and they help us with a ton but um we have we have um recently we have new management uh diamond city management out of uh new york city um so those guys were we love those guys uh and we're getting, you know, some the album out to more people with them, and uh, hopefully, shows when that happens. Um. So, what would be your dream tour? 
dream tour um probably us opening for like um gojira mashuga mastodon or Tool. maybe all four that'd be awesome yeah that would definitely be pretty cool have you guys uh, got to meet any famous musicians that you looked up yet? That you looked up to yet? Um, not too many. Like, um, we actually—he probably doesn't even know he met us. But uh, I met—I met Gary Holt when uh, Exodus came through town. Um, he's a big influence on my, on my playing. Um, other than that, not not too many, honestly. Hopefully, more soon. I interviewed him. If you, you did? Yeah, I actually did. I interviewed Bumblefoot, Scott, Megadeth. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, no, I he Gary probably doesn't even know he knows me, but uh they they brought me and Eli up on stage during their show one time to like it was like at the end of the show they just saw that we were kids and they brought us up and he probably doesn't even know me, but it was it was an awesome moment. Yeah, Eli was a kid, he's a nice guy. Yeah, for sure. Very good memory though. Is it all the press and fame you are getting to get into your head yet? Is it getting to your head? All the fame, pressing, pressure. Has it got to your head? Uh, no, not yet. I'm, hopefully it never does. Uh, you just sort of live your life the same way. I got to say, yeah, because you got to keep your head strong because you can be so famous and it can get very pressuring. I got to tell you something. You got to be humble always, all right? Remember that. Okay. You always got to be humble. Stuff like that. For sure. Is it crazy to being so young and doing something so cool when you were doing, when when you are like, like these most kids have no idea what this is, like what this is like, you know? Most kids in your school doesn't know like, how does it feel, you know, playing a show, playing some good Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fun to be doing something unique. Everybody's got their thing and this is kind of our thing. So, you know, like, like some kids do sports, some kids do a uh, band at school. This is kind of our version of that this is our thing. You know, it's, it's fun to be doing something that's unique. My advice to you is do not grow up too fast. Enjoy being a kid when you can, but always move forward. Okay. You always got to enjoy your little time as a child before you become adult and then pro probably even becoming world tour or even traveling to Europe and then Japan, stuff like that. So, yeah. Hopefully one day. Enjoy being a kid now. Well, thank you. Yeah, I you always got to keep that in mind. Uh, what do you think about a copy machine, something like uh, dropping an album and making videos and not doing interviews at such a young age? Um, I it's it's awesome. I um, I love doing all of it. I just I wish we could just I I wish we could play shows too because that's that's kind of what we do it for. You know, the shows are the most fun part. Is it crazy to think grown-ups have not even done what you are doing and tried their entire lives, though? You are more, you could be famous than adults, like people that have been doing this for years, basically. So that has to be amusing, you know? Oh, yeah, but there's always going to be somebody younger than you who does something better than that. I mean, you know, it's, there's kids that are like six that are better than me that, that I could ever be a guitar. So, you know, I, you know, have to like, I tried to not think about that too much. You just got to be better. It doesn't matter about your age. You just got to, you know, once, once you're, once you're in your twenties, which I'm not yet, but once we're in our twenties, we just got to be better. Like we're on the, the playing field even. So you got to sort of be better than the competition, no matter the age. So yeah. That's, yeah, work in that's, the yeah. Yeah. That is true about like, they're probably going to think you're going to do horrible because of your age, but some people think I should, I'm going to be saying, I like turtles during my interviews sometimes because of how young I am. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, you know, the expectations are low. They think I'm going to say something silly because they think I'm not for sure. So they think I'm just going to say, I like turtles. Stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah. What is uh, next for you? What is next for you? Um releasing another album i mean since we can't play shows we're writing right now and we're gonna go into the studio in august i want to say and then go from there we'll probably play some shows in the fall if we can and then release an album early 2022 how do all my followers start following you uh you can 
I'd say the, the best way, if you have an Instagram, follow us on Instagram. Um, because that's like the most updated way to keep up with what we release and all of our shows or interviews or stuff like that. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff. Hammerhead KC. I seen, uh, I seen you turn 17 on the 6th. Happy birthday. I turned 10 on the 5th. On the 6th. Oh, nice. Yeah, I turned 10 on the 6th. So I just became 10 a couple, a couple of weeks ago. Actually, yeah, two weeks. A happy late birthday. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So what is it like having your own merch? Haven't you seen anybody wearing your stuff yet? Have you ever? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's cool. I We try to make merch that I would li- like, that we would like wearing. So it's fun to see other people wearing our merch. Have you heard yourself on the radio yet? Uh, yes, not local radio. But uh, some radio shows we do, like interviews, kind of like this one for like we like special guests or something like that, and uh, we've heard ourselves on a couple of those, yeah. Well, that's sweet. Yeah. Do you want to swing right now? Are you on a swing because of what? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm on a little swinging bench. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, well, I do unboxings on my show. If you want to hook a brother. Ugh. Oh yeah, for sure. We can send some. I. I don't know what uh, work as of like lately, we're kind of not in control of like where the merch goes. We, we outsource the merch lately, but I, I can probably put a word in and send some merch to you. You want some like a shirt or like, um, I don't know, like vinyl when it comes out. Sure. Why not? I would love yeah. it. Yeah. I'll make, I'll, I'll put a word in. Thank you, man. Really? Yeah. We should, uh, hook. Oh, no, sorry. Wrong. Uh, well, thank you for being on my show, man. I hope the next time we talk is at the backstage at one of your shows. Peace. Yeah, hopefully. Have a great week. Yeah, see you later.